Good morning, Holy Trinity. Today is Friday, April the 9th, and you're here with your host, Mr. Gasillas. Please rise for your national anthem. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, this morning, I'm just going to read to you a piece of, of today's gospel reading that you'd hear at church. And it's from the Gospel of John. Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea uh, of Tiberias, and he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two other of his disciples, two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I'm going fishing. They said to him, we'll go with you. They went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach. But the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, children, you have no fish, have you? They answered him, no. He said to them, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now, they were, and now they were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so I was, I was reading that this morning, and uh, I was like, wait a minute. This happened already, right? When Jesus first met Peter, Peter was fishing, and he's like, hey, try the other side of the boat. Um, and so that means that Peter spent those three years with Jesus doing all those incredible miracles. And after he died, what did Peter do? He just went back to his normal life of fishing. You know, and I, I was really reflecting on that. And I do that all the time. You know, maybe we go to church or we go to a retreat or maybe we have a semester or a quadmester in a religion class. And we have this great encounter with Jesus. And then, you know, the next thing happens and you just go back to your normal grind you know, and, and, and it's almost like nothing ever happened. You know, and um, I think the big thing is, that yes, we can know Jesus and encounter Jesus in a tangible way, but what sustains us and what sustained Peter eventually, uh, and I talked about it yesterday, it, it's the Holy Spirit. You know, it's the Holy Spirit that gives us the gifts to, to, move, to, to move past uh, where we are now, to kind of get unstuck, to kind of get out of our shell, out of our box. And that Holy Spirit, again, is the giver of gifts. So this morning, I thought maybe I'd just go over those gifts of the Holy Spirit, you know, and in a state of prayer, we can reflect on these gifts, and maybe we can be bold enough to ask for one of these gifts of the Holy Spirit. And maybe it's something that we're, we're really uncomfortable with, and that means it's a great prayer, because God loves it when we stretch ourselves, and, and the best prayer is when we kind of make ourselves somewhat uncomfortable. So as we continue with prayer, I encourage you just to close your eyes. And reflecting on that story of Peter, you know, and kind of being stuck, you know, as that fisherman. You know, maybe we find ourselves stuck as well. And the Holy Spirit offers us some incredible gifts. Maybe we desire the gift of knowledge, especially on a day like today where we may have an exam. The gift of understanding, you know, understanding our circumstances. Maybe the situation of COVID, maybe we don't, we don't like it, but we understand our role, maybe the gift of wisdom, to be able to put first things first. Maybe the gift of counsel, 
It's a gift that we can either give to others or receive ourselves. You know, maybe we need to open up our hearts and our minds to those people that are challenging us in our life. The gift of piety, just to be more reverent when we're in God's presence. And even if we're with somebody, somebody else, recognizing that God, they are made in the image of God. The gift of fear of the Lord, just recognizing God's incredible power. And lastly, the gift of courage. So God, we ask for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit in our lives, especially as we take this break, this April break. Keep us safe and keep us always mindful for those gifts that you desire for us to grow in. In your name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Morning, Titans, and uh, welcome to the last day of Quad 3. Uh, after today, we are three quarters of the way done our school year, and the best part about the last quarter of the school year is the weather is much warmer and um, the days are longer, which is awesome. So I want to wish everyone best of luck on their CC. Uh, you've got this. You're going to do awesome. Your teachers have prepared you well, and you are well prepared, uh, so you're going to do awesome on your uh, CCAs and exams today. Just important to remember that next week is our April break, and the Monday after the April break, which is the 19th, there are no classes. It's still a, re it's a reporting day, and quad four classes start on Tuesday, April the 20th. So students, please check your uh, student emails to see uh, what uh, classes you have for next quad, because some things have changed, room numbers have changed. So please check your emails to see where you're going on Tuesday, April the 20th. Uh, before you leave today, please make sure you check out the table in front of the main office for lost and found items. Uh, also, a reminder to all staff and students that TLC is closed this morning uh, for exam accommodations. So exams are being written this morning. Uh, TLC will reopen this afternoon. Uh, don't forget that tomorrow, for any uh, girls out there that are interested in the Dream It to Be It uh, conference, uh, you could look at our school website for registration information. It is tomorrow. And I'd also like to take this opportunity to welcome Mr. Ritz uh, to our school as a student teacher. Mr. Ritz will be assisting Chef and Mr. Ellis uh, he started earlier this week, and he'll be with us uh, until the end of May. And Mr. Ritz is a former Holy Trinity student, so it's awesome to see him here back at his uh, home school. And we wish uh, he has an awesome experience here at Holy Trinity. Finally, just want to wish everyone an uh, awesome spring break. Stay safe. Please follow the uh, expectations of the province of Ontario. We are in a, in a shutdown. Uh, let's get those COVID numbers back down, and we want to see everyone back here on Tuesday, April the 20th. Have an awesome uh, spring break. And good luck on your exams and CCAs. Have a great day, Titans.